ladies and gentlemen, I am, of course, Evan from Stupidly Awesome Gaming, back again with another exciting episode of RoboCop Rogue City. And God, am I excited. Like I said, whenever I get to play this game, I am just absolutely fucking pumped. Because it's, it's just, it's just fun, man. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, so, has let, been apprehended Let's get today. this started. Robocop was able to capture Antonelsky little, little as reported for by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products mm -hmm. suffered a heart attack mm -hmm. earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? <laughs> Jeez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Ghosts from the past. Not over yet. Go have my evaluation. I actually don't mind the evaluation. I just figured. You know. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy. Uh, Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before <coughs> I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Skill points. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, you're I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your I identity for you? Dialogue. It is no one else's business. Understandable. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need, do not need other people's <clears throat> approval to determine who I am. No, but no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. 
I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular yeah, sights, this is all just a sounds, recap, or so. smells. Mm -hmm. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted, Corrupted visions. visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Okay, yeah, Pickles wants to speak with me. Alright. Let's put... Let's put another point in psychology, and then... Uh, another point in armor. I think I put uh, another point in combat before, but... If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you've got a high school diploma. <laughs> Damn. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here. Mm -hmm. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. Mm -hmm. None of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Mm -hmm. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. <laughs> All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. <laughs> Did you hear? The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. You're one cold lady on you. <laughs> Magna Volt is hiring. Do you have experience working in the police or military? Apply today. We offer better conditions and a safer workplace. Together, we can protect citizens with deadly efficiency. Damn. Oh, another skill point. Awesome. Well, let's put one into combat. Should put one into combat or... Oh, yeah, I forgot the dash. Okay, let's put one into combat. Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? <laughs> Ulysses gained the respect of his peers. Good for him. Murphy, in my office. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. 
and when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs, All point. signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Mm. Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She helped me she already. She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. <laughs> Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. At least Ulysses is gained the respect of his peers, and he's actually looked at as an actual officer, and not a, uh, you know, not just an OCP plant. He deserves it. I actually like. I actually don't mind that subplot. It's not. It's not a bad one. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. <laughs> Jesus. asking me about my liver and kidneys. They shot me in the leg. Mm -hmm. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. God damn. Cold as ice. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. <laughs> if you don't think a strike is brewing. You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. 
I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? to talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. It would. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. He's delirious. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my final days. I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like, it was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that. Death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <laughs> ah. Before you go, could you be so kind and get me some painkillers? Hey. That's better. I can always count on you. Can't I? Thank you, son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh, good news. Yeah. 
Right. Leave now. We need to get him ready for the transfer. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails, and come Monday morning, he'll be back to signing deals if nothing happened. Mm. <sighs> I honestly think that, you know, he actually wants what's right for the company and for the people of Detroit, ironically. But then again, I mean, he did uh, allow Robocop to shoot what's his name. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. <laughs> Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we'll leave it. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. <laughs> Pretty much insane. Of course, there's a assault. You came, so you can't follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. Of course. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Fixing it. Warm up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? Arrogant brown nose. I used to be happy. Now, in peace. I wish you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think my gun's a little too powerful. Pisses me off because I, I really yeah, let's stop it. All right, give it a minute. All right. Oh, where's the uh, what is it? Uh, there's really one that's called I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, yeah, find an OCP skill disc. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's annoying, but let's hope that uh, it'll start me at the thing with just Becker. Kaiju map making RPG. Interesting. Alright. Sorry about that. In between everything I like to just look at look at memes and stuff like that. Take it from the top. Took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement. You are redundant.
Becker knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. Oh, so now you're going to tell me that you're really trying now, huh? as many OCP charges as I can.
And like I said, it has a minor auto aim feature, which is kind of nice, but kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. points in psychology are not doing anything. <laughs> One part that I'm actually I've actually gotten stuck on. I'm actually a, a little surprised, but not really. UEDs during a shady meeting in under 10 minutes. Damn, really? Let's go confront the good uh, businessman. And I use that word very loosely. just happened you lost that's what happened 
Back her. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes, I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I'm in RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. Mm -hmm. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! <clears throat> well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. Mm -hmm. And you better keep an eye on that remote. <laughs> Secondary objectives. Oh, nice. Yeah, not bad. Pain in the ass. Fucking hate That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. some into armor. Yeah, let's put one into armor and one into engineering because I want that dash move. Because I'm about to level up soon, so then I can choose what I need at that moment. Yes. Let's change the board. Ooh! Take a look at the 4.3s. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. 14%. And... have one that just goes from from top to bottom or no perfect yeah oh, 19 percent weapon damage I can always use that. Seventeen percent that out of work for the time being. Then, don't worry, I'll get back to the violence and gore in just a just one second. And I will nope 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 nope. Ah damn it, I'm gonna take a hit on that too. Ooh, actually I might not have to. Yep, uh, yep, yeah, yeah. damn it, that hurt. Curse's damage dealt, but no critical hits. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I need that that bad. And 
percent. Do I have another one? Ah, yeah. there we go. It's twelve percent, but it'll work for the time being. God damn! Does everything have a fucking negative? Reduces spread. Twenty percent penalty to like everything. Fucking Christ, man. Who the hell keeps calling me from Illinois? And they never leave me a message, which is weird. There's only one person in Illinois that I be, that that I know, and I, uh, you know, I, I don't exactly want to talk to them. At least I think he's in Illinois. I don't know. Perfect. That's about as good as I'm going to get. Massive damage. tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, Becker's here. Let me get my hand. Take the motherboard. Where's the motherboard? Ah, yep, there it is. Oh, okay, well, wait a minute. This actually might be better than what I have. Damn it, I might have done all that... I might have done all that... experimentation for nothing. Hmm. What do we got here? Fires one out of time, deals heavy damage. Ooh, I can... Ooh, I might actually be able to work with this. All right, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just... I'll make it as quick as possible. Okay, I really... Oh, actually, no. We need one of those right there. Take a small hit, but nothing I can't handle. Do I have anything similar to that? Oh, wait a minute, I have a 12% one right here. Perfect. I want as much weapon damage as I can as I can get. And then another 12% this one. More gore increases the volume. It's literally the bloody mess perk that honestly makes me laugh. Alright, magazine capacity. Now that's what I'm looking for. Eh, 5% penalty, but I can eat the 5%. I can't eat any of the other ones. I might just be able to plug one of these. Yeah, let's. Oh, whoop. Fifteen percent, and There we go. Weapon damage. Perfect. Sorry, sorry. I know you guys don't like the puzzle sections for obvious reasons as much, but... Needed to do it. What the hell is Becker bitching about this time? It's a new age! And you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it. 
You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. What is Delta City? No crime, no poverty, safe, secure, and clean living units for everyone. For you, for our children, choose today a bright new future in the safe room. A uh, little too utopian for me. Alright, and... Oh, okay, more... Alright, that actually makes sense. Let's give me the dash. Is that Ulysses? No, it is not. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonovsky. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. <laughs> hey, Murphy. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen. I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? Mm -hmm. They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. Oh, 
she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to hear that. And I can tell someone was missing her a bit more than the rest of us. Hey, it's not like that, Ramirez. It's not funny, you know? <laughs> Rickman a visit. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Look, they still keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. Have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. <laughs> Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? It's Just another slime that tried to run the city. I'm afraid he's something more than that. He's a demanding yeah. individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. The best way to keep my hands busy is to hand me a criminal. Oh, so much anger. I know where it's coming from. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. There's nothing left to be restored. I've already been restored one time too many. You have been restored inappropriately, without a family, without the chance to play 
baseball with your son whenever you feel like it. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Uh oh. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. Yeah, of course. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. <laughs> Heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game. All right, let's go. Wasn't even me who took you out. Damn it. Kitchen. 
I still have to finish armory breaking? Shotgun. I think I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. S12. I could deal with, I could fuck around with that. stolen wallet. ton of records, nothing interesting. These things are in the weirdest places. Give the warden the best. Alright. Oh yeah! Oh! Robocop, damn. I owe you! Damn, his arm was fucking shot people's off. People's taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B, and Robocop. Give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir, block A is clean. Good. That way. Okay. 
Oh, incriminating documents. That's always useful. Oh, nuke. Alright. Doesn't mean you can get just about anything in here, so... I don't want to go to B just yet because I want to figure out how to do illegal broadcast. Alright, there we go. Jesus! Turned all you fuckers. Oh, there's one strong fan. Is that you? You better do something to get us out of here! You were fucking free! that you were in no hurry. Stupid guards. Hey, Tid Man! Are you working in prison now? And tell your fellow guards they ain't getting our help no more. <laughs> Nice try, buddy. Fake money. Every time I see fake money, I just keep thinking, of, oh, okay. All right. What the hell was that? Did you did you see that? That guy literally just Okay, I hope his spine's alright. That's the only thing I can think of. Play something, why don't you play something nice? And, and I'm doing better than okay now. Oh, what do we got in here? Stolen wallet. I, I can't imagine it was. <laughs> yeah. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? Uh, yes. I am ready to proceed. Okay, then. Good luck. Someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. They were armed to the teeth. And that's what I. That's what I intend to find out who it was. I've got a wife and kids. Please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. Damn. What the hell? We're, we're checking in. We're approaching the client. Affirmative. Robocop is still at the facility. I'm not There's fighting. No <laughs> Robocop. New arrivals. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokescreen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. 
I am on my way I'm to the I'm not an enemy! No, you're not. <laughs> oh, damn. Man, this, uh, this single shot. Damn it, I'm losing some, uh... Uh, I'm losing bullets per second, but fuck. <laughs> like, just, just the power that this thing has. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, my ear was killing me. Somebody help! He's gonna kill me! Just give me the gun, scum. What is the situation? That, that, that guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh, bullshit. This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me. Just let me go. I know where the other guards are. I'll head there right away. Let, the prisoner let him go. You're making a mistake. See ya. Yeah, it's Drop up. it. If only I'd been a second. I asked her. Oh, damn it. Go pay with a nice little Wendell's cell was empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property <laughs> store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. I'm smarter because of mistakes. in the dick. Honestly, that's probably the best the best place to uh to shoot them unironically. Prisoner's complaint. 
Christmas play. I demand to be released from the mandatory baking classes. They don't de-stress me. They're pissing me off. I'm a serious thug, a real murderer, and people from the hood are already laughing at me because I end up in this kindergarten you call a prison. When they hear about the baking class, my reputation is done for. Jimmy the Bulldog Lee. I can't handle this. Engaging targets. Ah, it upsets my house. Someone throws the switch. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Not such a can-headed piece of shit after all. <laughs> That's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> the other, the arcade owner. He actually still ended up in here. Ironic. I just had half a mind to leave his ass there, but anyway. Oh shit! Spider increases enemy morale. Oh shit. Somebody. Sorry about that. Sweet. 
now armor high damage reduction Relo explosive and high caliber weapons deal 25% less damage perfect timing situation here. That guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me, and I'm not gonna stay here. Justice can only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer! Sounds morbid, but <laughs> warning, no warning shots. Let's do focus.
of like, is there a reason why I can't say I have to keep reaching? Because each time I, I'm thinking of fucking... Yeah, like I'm actually going to encounter somebody, but I don't. So with this, I, I you know, works just fine. All right. Yeah, I don't have to breach; I just have to open. You believe that? Oof, damn. Last week, I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system, and today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Mm -hmm. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. <laughs> the scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. You need to smoke them out. Oh, I'll do more than smoke them out. Let's go! I honestly love just being able to pick people up and throw them. I find that enjoyable. Oh, god damn it. expect that. I won't believe but that. Uh. Hmm. 
very strong door. Oh, sweet. start from checkpoint. Let's see if that does something. Kills me that every time they take like fatal damage, they, they yell shit out. Get it through that thick skull. You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you Charge. and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And 
you better hurry. Complete Wendell's confession quest. Oh, uh, that's not good. Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. All right. Time to head to the evaluation room. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. So, you also noticed the symmetry of my face? <clears throat> oh, shithead. Robocop, please, have a seat. Stop prisoners released from the preacher. Cunning prisoner stop. Pizza. Of... Yeah, I made an absence. In the That's judgment. it for me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Janowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Okay, focus. I could finish off psychology if I really wanted to. In fact, lowers outcome thresholds for the main characters. Eh. 
Eh, fuck it. Put one more into that. Armor, vitality. I already got the dash. Oh, I forgot. Eh, screw it. Let's just put one more into psychology so that way I'm almost done. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. <laughs> OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer but I don't trust technology, and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? I'm not. They asked of us. This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people mm. attempt insurance fraud. <laughs> How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy. I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss, as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Oh, 
unauthorized modification. Hand set functionality in order. Player or seat functionality in order. Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. <laughs> I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kujak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? <laughs> One second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to take a piss and I will be. Well, I'm going to go to the bathroom, get a cup of water, and be right back. Alright, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized, oh, wait a minute, I need to take a shower. So I just took a quick shower, relaxed, cooled off a bit. Murphy, you're here. Yeah. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Yeah, I was, my back was giving me a little, I was in a lot of pain, so I was like, eh, screw it, I'll just take a shower really quickly. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed, so let me at least give you this. The project's called. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! Yeah. You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Oh, fuck you. Good luck. Ugh. Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer-savvy, real high-tech shit. 
Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Okay, now I can leave the precinct. Murphy! Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do I have to play politics? called. I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time. But not too much time. The election is in two days. Yeah. You supported Mayor Cusick. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars and the next thing you know they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't get yourself down. Nothing really changes. We're still going to be chasing after the bad guys. Now that Becker has his robots, do you really think so? You better stop being so naive and join the strike. Oh, man. It's basically, this is basically like fucking, uh, what is it, uh, how it is now. <laughs> Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. I know what we can do to make tonight more exciting. Grandma, you know what the doctor said about alcohol. I got a better idea. We can bet on who will win the election! <laughs> Better the mayor you know. If Mills wins, I'll have to close up the store. Police work, fish situation, cyber trail. I don't get why Robocop supports Kuzak. I hear he's gonna turn Robo off when he wins. Eh. Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you! Let's go around looking for violations. Yeah, what do we 
we got here? Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. All right, what do you got? We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Mm -hmm. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. Ah, I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him and just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out who it belongs to. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. Hmm. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied to the sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Any Were there witnesses? any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. <laughs> Why, is Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Yeah. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. <laughs> but there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's got to watch your clumsy ass. <laughs> I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. <laughs> Like I told those cops, no ambulance, just leave me be. You tried to rob a corpse. Now I am truly offended. Without me, these cops would have turned to ash. I should get a medal for it or something. <laughs> You're only hurting You are only kids. hurting your case. Now make your situation better and help me with this investigation. Oh, finally, you're judging me fairly. What do you know about that car? I know the guy who owns it. I mean, I knew him. He always stopped here to pick up this blonde gal. <laughs> Real peach, I'm telling you. <laughs> High class. Describe the woman. She likes jewelry, but she's not covered with it like a Christmas tree. She knows how to wear it. That much I can say. <laughs> I obtained the suspect's description. Who killed Simon Page? the building.
desk and rent office lease. The long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A keycard issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first, we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. <laughs> Breach. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Fake ID card. Well, that's not good. Ah, oh, it's a bathroom. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Search for clues. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Scan successful. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team, as the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Mm -hmm. Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Okay. What'd you find out? 
We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. And he just went to get us a couple burgers. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, sweet fishy situation. All right, let's go with Cyber Trail. Oh, uh, well, first let's do who killed Simon Page. Of course, inside looks Are obvious. you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, too bad for him. I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? A witness testified that you met with Mr. Page shortly before he died. I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shining arm. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Cusack speech, yes, ma'am. What do neighborhoods mean to us? Motions to invoke nostalgia, solidarity, homelessness, real life story, memories of the smell of fresh bread. Ah, okay. Emotions to invoke fear, rage, and sense of injustice. Real life story OCP allows criminals to ruin buildings intentionally to make them lose value to, it. to allow, like mine. Only accusing can save neighborhoods. Emotions to invoke pride, desire for revenge. Get our neighborhoods back. Note, find a way to make Cusack stick to this to the script instead of taking talking through his hat. Yeah. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? I have a prescription for them. Prescribes. I can't energy. fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. Yeah, of course. Ah, oh, God. I wish this wasn't all here, but. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? The one from the he gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Negative. First, I would need to charge you. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often too often for business meetings. 
<laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago? <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. <laughs> well, of course, the assistant did it. Officer Neil, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neill here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. On my way, keep Ms. Crane there and be careful. She is our prime suspect. Understood. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kurt showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing yeah. Mills speech pointers? Message delivered. Delta City is right. Make old Detroit look disgusting. Adjectives to use. Cramp, dirty, old, dangerous, dark. Evoke associations with crime, danger, lack of perspectives. Two, sell the idea of Delta City. Adjectives to use. Safe, secure, clean, bright. Evoke associations with better life, bright future, hope for more. Three, link Mills 2.2 and Cusack to point one. Emphasize that Mills wants to go to the residence. Delta City will Lady is the one who did this. She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. The person usually responsible for it has been laid off recently. Please change it overnight. I don't want anyone to disturb my work. New codes are panic room. Nine eight 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 six four. Ah, there it is. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we... The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. 
It looks like she used a computer. Maybe we can find something there. Nine, five, a message here says there is a panic room in this office. There is also an access code. Panic room, magna vault. Nine, five, eight, this four. page guy didn't like to let anyone in. At least the hide and seek game is over. Not sure. Keep reminding me of the Just the police already. Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. <laughs> this is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things. And only I decide my fate. Tell the court about your struggles. If you do not talk about it yourself, no one will understand your effort. There is a lot to tell. Everyone should know how much it took for me to get to where I am. I have to overcome obstacles. Your sole goal is to move forward, too, so you understand. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. <laughs> I'll take the PCB. Nice. Ah. And that is why I put so many points into psychology. It's gotta be like the what, like the third time that it like it's come in handy. Or maybe the second time, but I'm not sure. Well, they also it also does give me the more empathetic approach. Officer Kurtz and O'Neill solve a murder case. Oh, nice. Yeah, hey, let's take a look at my, uh, my board. Oh, 5.3. Very nice. Very nice. Focus, reduce the spread, improving accuracy. Ooh, nice. Automatic feeder, automatic ammo feeder, no need to reload. Holy shit! Alright, I need that. Okay, damage. Okay, that's not a weapon damage one. And eleven percent. Okay, now I need a regular L. Perfect. Uh, which one? Reload speed. There we go. And this one is perfect. Just need a regular L. Ah! Answer to my prayers. Oh, actually, no, no, I don't need that one. Oh, damn, that's 50% penalty, Jesus. 
Hmm. Oh, I know how to head this. I know how to head this off of the pass. I might be able to anyway. Right. Do I have another? Ah, oh wait a minute, no, that's not what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. Now I need it. Ah, I got another one, sweet. Perfect, it gives me an auto feeder too. And I could probably rig this. Now I'm gonna get a 30% penalty. But, yeah, I could probably. I, I, uh, to be fair, I could probably live with that. This should, there we go. That should mitigate some things. Perfect. All right. All right, let's take care of fishy situation. Cop the Righteous. It's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. The whole election circus is behind him already. You know, that's what I like about you, Richard. You always see the bright side. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the fish situation. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Mm. Officer Remember Washington. your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him! There's something else. You really know your stuff. <laughs> and I don't even have to reload, man. chance against you. No, they do not. Alright. Let me get ready and let's go, bitch. Shot me. That'll teach him a lesson. Get ready to taste some justice. Like anyone can smell the difference. Intervene. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, <laughs> you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble.
All I need is your what surrender. What I want is not important. What I need is your surrender. Well, how about batteries, huh? I'm sure you need those to stick them up your ass to keep that freak show running. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? <laughs> break, the break the door. He's reloading. Oof. Ooh, God, man. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP, but I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robo. Return to the streets. First, I'm gonna grab those incriminating documents, because that's kind of important. Stolen wallet. Yep. Fake money. Yeah, screw it. I might as well. Fin I might as well finish the entire psychology bracket. Practice makes practice makes perfect. Excuse me. I might have a case of the hiccups. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy has a no head. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. <laughs> I'll wrap this up, Rolo. You can head back to the precinct. Oh, sweet. Another skill point. Awesome. What else do I have? Armor and vitality. Eh, give me another focus point. Please work. Oh man, I was almost done with that too. Well, that's kind of annoying. How many violations are in this in this time? Uh, three. So you really gotta work to find them. Those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. <laughs> You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Mm. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. <laughs> so, you aren't the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, <laughs> I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. <laughs> Damn. 
wouldn't say this place is a dump, but it's, you know. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed mm -hmm. since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I am glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring <laughs> comfort to a suffering old man? What an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. <laughs> but there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. <laughs> Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Caution! Oh. She's not alone. Robocop is guarding the target. Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. 
Let's run it back. Let's run it back. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Dr. Blanche's life. 
Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Alright, come on. Come on, Dr. Blanche. Follow me. Eyes on target! to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking. This room is getting awfully hot. Alright. Oh, nuke. Alright, well, good thing I did restart then. Gotta be honest with you, just being just being able to grab people. What should we do now? My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. 
I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. Finally starting to understand the shooting the blood seeing it firsthand it puts everything into perspective What I think I'm trying to say is Thank you my duty madam So what now Murphy I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer You will keep her safe Say from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. <laughs> I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. <laughs> Signal tracking. Track a target's exact location. Use the signal strength indicator in the upper left corner of your HUD. The percentage value increases if you move in the right direction. I was pissing on one of those. You disappointed me, Robo. The police should not get involved in politics. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. How oh, handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative, Murphy. Out. I hate when you do that. Lose out. makes those ladders should really get a fucking uh what is it uh that like there's your advertisement right there it held robocop's weight Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. <laughs> Any joy? Wait, I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? I am much more than that. <laughs>
like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. <laughs> citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them may come back. Let's hope it's not an alien party. <laughs> Just make sure you don't drink anything. It might have a roofie. <laughs> uh, God. That is a, a scary prospect. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. God. Victim recently deceased. Shot his balls off. Oof. Oof man, vagrants too. Stolen wallet. incriminating documents. OCP server. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering. Yeah, it's quite a 
of grip I got, isn't it? Curse you, OCP. There you go. Ow, you son of a prick. Scanning. Engineering. Ooh. Ooh, wow, Kraken allows you to open any safe with unknown combination. You can also reprogram enemy turrets. Alright, well, this gives me chip modif more chip modification bonuses. Speaking of, lays heavy suppressive fire. Ah, oh, shit. and some change more experience, and I should be good. There we go. Who wants some? Heavy duty equipment here. And no OCP repair units. Like they started noticing that, like, oh yeah, I picked those up. Communication details, OCP communication internal link, HQ, connected employee account, Wendell and Tanowski, access restrictions, CEO only. Oh, oh. Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. 
I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that yeah. data? I'm uploading it. it as we speak. And I like the old I'll map, I'll make too. sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. Sewage map of Detroit. That also explains why he's, uh, why Wendell was able to fuck with Robocop's programming. Increases slow motion duration. Hmm. Eh, enhanced map. I could have used that earlier, and that's my fault for not doing that. Hmm. Yeah, let's finish up. Let's finish up armor. Drive to OCP headquarters. Screw serve and protect three for the time being. <laughs> hey, Murphy, we've been analyzing the files that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, the man it's himself. taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is I how love I today bring your kid to work today. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo, could you resolve this issue we're having? There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome him. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of Old Detroit to create space for Delta City? No, I, have a I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? Yeah, screw it. Yes, OCP cannot handle I this. will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Ah, screw it. Let's do Samantha's investigation. Oh, 
over here. Could you help me with these doors? Of course. Malfunction detected. Warrant required. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will shoot my ear off the bat if I don't. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be So, you're still here? Well, yeah. Tell me Your the conflict with the head of security? What is that about? He's a walking sack of incompetence. For example, he put this metal detector gate nearby with no one to supervise it. So that means I have to run and check it every time it beeps. And don't even get me started on the door codes. I think I can tell you that. You're an OCP cop, right? My boss made it so the new security code for each door is always some number that you can easily find around the door. Thank God the doors aren't locked with keys. He'd probably make us leave keys under doormats. <laughs> My duty awaits. That was easy, but it makes me wonder if there'll actually be a positive outlook or positive outcome later. Starting next month, OCP Silver cardholders will no longer be allowed to use diamond relaxation areas. I really don't want to make this guy's thing harder, but... But it's OCP. It's kind of like, you know, Amazon. Eh, fuck them. Estimates. Do you have them? Yeah, they Make are. good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. <clears throat> Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look <laughs> pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Why so eager to fight OCP? I fight the bad guys. 
And when it comes to bad guys, OCP is the worst. They forced my parents to give up everything they'd worked for. They accused my mother of lying in her documentaries meant to expose OCP. She didn't take it well. But revenge is good motivation, not a reason. I want to spare others the suffering that we went through, even if I have to sacrifice my career or freedom. But maybe now's not the time for this conversation. We have work to do. Yes, we do. Alright, now um, let me just... said it's around hmm. and let me just recharge and this shouldn't do. This shouldn't cause any problems. Data shuffled. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I'm nobody's like, oh my god, Robocop's here. taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. Mm -hmm. I will be the highlight. I mean, he's honestly got the, the show of the place. He's fucking RoboCop. I mean. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevator. Let me get that sir. door for you. Sir! I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Mm -hmm. Going up? Yeah, great. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people. Crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. John Mills continues to fight for your support. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. <laughs> there is no one here. That should what? be Los Angeles. Look around. See if we're missing Should something. be in LA and Chicago and Detroit right now. successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, 
afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. Of course. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human uh. rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology yeah. that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? <laughs> From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? <laughs> what about all the money that went to do research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Yeah. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Considering I saved his life once upon a time, I think he'll, you know... Suit yourself. Take PC move. Oh, okay. Oh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Screw off. Alright, well, let's take a look at the new board I got. Ah, 5.1. There's one that's actually, if there's one that's actually, if this one's superior to mine. Actually, I could probably work with this one better. Alright, and let's. I'm an idiot. Here, I can use this.
that's not where it gets its power from. Right. Back to the drawing board. Right. And, ah, here we go. Now, what do we got here? Piercer. Piercing bullets improve effectiveness against armor. That would be sweet. And then auto feeder. More gore and doom, doom rounds. Some rounds may explode, dealing more damage. Holy shit. I may not have full auto, but damn. You got me. Or so you think. Less effective, but... These will work for now. There, that works. Alright. Don't I have like an armor piercing one? Okay, do I. Do I put something there? Or... Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't put anything there. Okay, perfect. But I believe I have an auto loader, so. Yeah, the automatic feeder, so the magazine capacity is, I wouldn't say worthless, but not, not needed. Alright. And we're walking! We're walking! Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiles. <laughs> Do you think that he hung it upside down? You have to stop coming to the office. You no longer work here. You were fired last month. Put your hands up, you are under arrest. <laughs> That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? <laughs> About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Someone, needs, Someone to take... needs to take responsibility. Someone did. 
The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife, so you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! Uh, of course. It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That Expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. Mm. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. <coughs> Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? Do they know? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that'd be my thing. Of, are our bonuses safe? Like, that's. Fucking Becker. Complete the man himself quest. You're here? Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there. Oh, oh lovely. We have to be on the lookout for Antonov. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. <laughs> That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button.
UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit, since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm. UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure uh, you're hey. dying to hear more about my robots, yes? Yeah, this is supposed I to be in between two and Robocop. three. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police, the police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mill's promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? Yeah, screw it. I'll support Mayor Kuzak because he's not OCP. I support Mayor Kuzak. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. Trust the My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find the remote. You dumbass. And where did I put it? Is is that normal? Huh? I... It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. <laughs> what is happening? I you dumbass! is looping back three or four minutes at a time. That's strange. Okay. That is very weird. Hopefully it will rectify itself. Hopefully it will rectify itself in the coming months. Number. No, damn it! But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the expo depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. What is your plan? 
I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I <laughs> open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember really? differently. Really? Okay. Your memory is glitchy. Yeah, I let it go entirely too long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This basically just turns into that scene from Commando. Because I don't ever have to let go of the trigger. Really, ever. Like, but I recommend two people. Problem with it. This EMP device on there, both really knowledgeable about this stuff. Oh, okay. Don't worry, nothing will happen to your brain, at least, and that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. What do you mean, uh, helping with it, like helping with, with stream issues and stuff like that? Because I could always use people like that. How could I get a hold of them through Rumble or? Yeah, that's honestly what they need to do is they really need this. Uh, what is it? I would like Rumble to kind of have a feature like uh, what's his name? Uh, YouTube had where it was like you could have a. Ooh. Hey there, sexy. Ooh, Don't be got a little weight on you. 
Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? Oh, fuck. I'm to make it. It. Uh, that, you that YouTube had where, uh, sorry to go back into what it, what it was before, but, uh, damn, I'm sorry, back's killing me. That's why I shift the blade every once in a while. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, damn. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Uh. Potato. <laughs> Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little I'll have thing. to look into him, thank you. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna... Robocop, <laughs> now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. Yeah, oh. Oh. Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Yeah, I'll see if I can... Uh, what is it? If I can uh, get to elk, but I don't, I don't know if I will. Oh wait. A Seems like a waste. use uh, someone to help me uh, to help me with uh, stream and I use Streamlabs OBS it ain't the best but it's the most uh, it's the easiest to uh, I wouldn't say acquire but the e it because it is the easiest to acquire as well but easiest to uh, like uh, retrofit and you know user interface Let's see, one of these guys had a rocket launcher? Shit, he wasn't using it? Damn. Seems like a missed opportunity. Oh, uh, brought my mic set up from him. Oh, nice. Oof. Mercy. Ah, fuck, another one of these parts. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. 
That chip, OCP, implanted in your brain? The one that was supposed to help you. It's as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. Oh, it's yeah. activated with this. But I'm sure you already Oh, really? Oh, that makes sense. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Hmm. Well, that's a visual. But, since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. City of Detroit. Nice. You're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? So much pain. Mm. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? Uh. How do we do that? I think I can help. Uh. Uh. There's a button here that will shut him down. Uh. 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 Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags. What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how are you doing? Memory set. I am Assistant. doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire. She's right. I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you, but help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground and from the ashes let's rebuild something new something better of course this is bad can we do anything about it i mean we've all been fired 
Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. <laughs> oh, I was hoping they wouldn't put his mask Murphy, back on. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. <laughs> Your actions have influenced the election results. So it's probably Cusick. Back out there. We gotta get back out there and bring some justice. <laughs> and this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Oh, great. This looks like Minneapolis in My 2020. God, look at this place. Could things get any worse? <laughs> the stage is at the riverfront. We are almost there. This Wendell guy thinks he can toss us aside. We'll show him who runs this town. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to see the inauguration. <laughs> oh, you like to vote? Let's vote! All in favor of kicking this guy's ass? I, I. Nay? I thought you said all the cops were fired! They were! <laughs> Free scumbags! Damn OCP is here. They elected. want to ruin the city because that guy lost the election. But I won't let them do that. People voted for me, I owe them that. So, officer, tell me what's the situation. Every gang in the city is out for payback. They're not happy that Wendell used them, and his TV appearance didn't help. What about those damn robots, though? Can we use them to protect the city? They're under Wendell's full control. Ah, murders and criminals. That's what OCP is. But there must be something we can do. We must uphold the law, and we must catch Wendell Atanowski. We need to find him first. Luckily, Wendell likes to see himself on the big screen. How does that help? The message you broadcast. I can track its signal, but I'll need a little time. We can buy you some time, rookie. I don't want to interrupt, but some damned robots want to join your party. We can't let them do that, partner. Can we? No. <laughs> Oh, mega store. Any advice on how to deal with them? Shoot. <laughs> Murphy, just the... I'll stay here with the mayor and watch out for the rookie while he tracks Wendell. 
You need to go out there and contain the situation. It's time to protect the innocent, Murphy. I was made to do that. <laughs> Let's do it. Murphy, all hell broke loose. People are calling about crimes happening all over the city, but three stand out. Those should be your priority. Firstly, Torchhead set fire to one of the apartment buildings. There are people still stuck inside. You need to get them out. Secondly, Street Vultures are loading up a van full of explosives at their newly annexed chop shop. Seems they want to make a statement. Stop them before they do. Thirdly, the mercenaries Window hired got a hold of an ED-209 from that military expo. They let oh, it loose, okay. and it's wreaking havoc in front of the town hall. Hey, Tin Man. I've been picking up the dispatch phone ever since you left. People need help all over town. It's too many to handle, so I'll be directing all the incoming calls straight to you. Good luck, Tin Man. Help! I'm being persecuted because of my eye. A bunch of torch heads showed up. They don't like the phone. I only work with the- Hey, it's Ronnie! Gonna put Ronnie's grocery! They're trying to burn down my store! But I need help! I can't get out! I would be so good that the cops wanna help you! Right to the criminal. <laughs> Thank you, Dash. Pretty much at the ending, so let's just go straight focus. Of course. I mean, the chet the burning building one is, like, the one where I'm kind of like, uh, I mean, is, uh, is it, uh, wouldn't say it's impressive, but, like, it will then basically shut everything down. Officer was fired. I need help. 
I'm being held hostage by some. Yeah, okay, the laundromat owner. Need a movie recommendation for the evening? Let's Sorry about the mess. The intruders are neutralized. Lock the door and stay here. Someone should definitely make a movie about you. You're <laughs> As for my store, uh, I'll get compensation from the city, right? <laughs> I don't know why the audio got all weird there for a second, but... Get to the revenge of the street. Basically, just going around committing like gang mass murder. <laughs> guy that thought being alive was okay. Bring hand 
Revenge of the Street Vultures. Alright. Find out what the biker gang is up to. And here I was about to leave, because I kind of did my job, and then I, you know, was about to, you know, I'm gone. I got other shit to do. So, did you learn anything about the Vulture's plans? They want to blow up the bridge. Oh, shit. You need to stop them. Otherwise, where will I get my maple syrup? <laughs> I am heading there now. What is your status? Don't worry about us. We're doing just fine. Okay. Hmm. All right, Revenge of the Street Vultures. Is there like any other objectives or If I catch any of you dopeheads washing jelly beans or marbles just for kicks, I'll make you pay for the parts yes, you wrecked. What else are we supposed to think? You saved me. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your attempt to keep the city clean. Thank you. And uh, don't worry about me. I, I live in the building. I locked myself upstairs. <laughs> All right. This reminds me of a game way back when, back in like 2004, I want to say 2004, 2005, give or take. It was called uh, uh, Urban Chaos, like City Under Fire or something like that. I know it was called Urban Chaos, it was the first game that, it was the first game that Rocksteady ever worked on before the Arkham game. And it was actually not a bad first person shooter, it was basically about like the the, uh, this, sit like, I think it's, like, New York City is under siege by this, like, massive, by this massive, uh, what is it, gang, gang called, like, the murders or the tortures or whatever, and you're a police officer and you're part of this, like, elite task force called Zero Tolerance, and you have to, like, put the, this gigantic fucking, uh, riot down. Oh, there we go. No. Hey, me! Good! The only time I've used an actual grenade launcher throughout this entire game, actually. Eh, that it? Alright. Find the bomb in the service rooms. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't bother. Caution, high explosives detected. Bomb threat possibility. Do not shoot any explosives, alright. Alright. No. Precise accuracy is probably best. 
basically become the torch heads all of a sudden. I'm not playing any more games! Oh, really? You were playing games before? God damn it! Fucking Christ. I missed one shot, literally. an RPG, are you kidding me? What's the situation? Live explosives need deactivating. Touch words with the highest explosive voltage. What, me? No, I'm not doing that again. I will manage. Highest to lowest, okay, there's... because it said highest to lowest voltage. Okay. Oh, sweet. I have to do this again. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. The hell? I really wish it didn't do that. Like, I really wish it just flashed white and then that's it. Do that. 
That would be quicker. <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have to go through all the shooting. Doing so good too, at least I have a good memory. Ah, fucking Christ. I don't see any fireworks on the horizon. Have you managed? Yes. That was the most annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be gonna be like a hundred on that. But I, I will say there was one saving grace. Thank God I'm not fucking colorblind. It's honestly convenient because I'm right there. <laughs> You saved me. <laughs> you saved my business. <laughs> Just make sure there are no children here during school hours. Ah, loosen up. At least there are no drugs here. <laughs>
burning building. I know it's I know it's a little morbid, but I kind of left the burning building here for like a while for no reason. I feel and I do feel bad about it, but I'm kind of laughing at the fact that like Elderman still. I tried to pull her out. I really tried, but smoke and. Is your mother inside? Yes. Can you? There are police officers on the promenade. Go there. I will save your mother. Oh God! I can't open the door. Someone help me! Oh God! Thank you. Watch out for smoke, citizen. Your safety is a priority. But I can't! Oh God! I can't leave without my little kitty! Oh, please help me find her! Restart the checkpoint and see if the the cat loaded in because I'm like I, I really want to know what this guy's fucking cat is. I. I is your yes. There are. Oh God! I can't open the door. There you Can go. someone help? There you go. Oh God! Thank you. Watch out for smoke, citizen.
was going to look in the oven in the microwave like I just did, because I'm like, where the hell will this cat be? Stop, but I can't find a fucker's cat to, so that I can get him to leave a burning fucking building. Granted, I love my animals too more than anything, but son of a bitch. fine, man. That's all I can really tell you. But I need to go save a mom and her kid, so yeah, you deal with that by yourself. Call me a dick all the fuck you want, but I gotta... Stay. 
I told you to go to the promenade. I have to protect my mom. I have to. I've, I've already failed her once. You are brave, Daniel, but courage is not pointlessly exposing yourself to danger. Now go to the promenade. The promenade, sir. Of course. Can, can you walk, Mom? Yes. Yes, I can. You're very strong, Daniel. Strong and brave, just like your father. Wendell Street. Get back in there. Okay, well. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that one guy's, that one guy's, you know, kitty, but, eh. Now it's time to go deal with Wendell. Did someone call for backup? <laughs> Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. Yeah. That's right. What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag. Find the signal source. I do want to leave the area. I am underground. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the afterlife project. So <laughs> this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. Could be a trap. Detected. Oh, Jesus. Any news? Wendell is not here. I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? To proceed. I must find the code to a locked door. That is police work at its most basic. Your favorite. Mm -hmm. Access code, no match. The scientists did not like working with Wendell. What was Wendell's role in the project anyway? He was coordinator. He hired scumbags and then overworked the team. In OCP, that position is called executive. <laughs> Legal experimentation detected. I can't access any of these. 
access code. Oh, it's, it's still alive. Shit. That's a scary thought. I don't like the thought of, uh, of being alive after you're supposed to be dead. and just say screw it the urge is strong and there's nothing else I can like there's nothing else I can scan and everything else is un is locked so ah okay code match down I found the door code I am continuing pursuit. So we escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're going to join Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit chat after that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages from now on. That is, if you're close enough. So Murphy. Your radio spec high channel. Uh, okay, and remember next time we change frequencies earlier than usual. This day ain't over yet. Oh my god, this was the first page for, uh, what is it, like, what is it, New Detroit or something? Hey man, check it out. Ah, focus. It's Delta City's first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. Should he even be here? You better check if the boss man knows about it. Mm. Aren't we lucky? This place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and women. All at our fingertips. While Detroit is burning thanks to the gang war. How do you I'm know? telling you, I'm Wendell's right hand man. So if he's the king of Della City, then I am the prince. And you know what that makes you? An idiot if I keep listening to your nonsense.
Max Murphy. You didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? <laughs> the most free society there is, where everyone is equal, as long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers. Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now, where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop. Smoking kills. So, you finally took care of that, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired. All right. Let's dance. Mini gun in the palm Robocop of my hand. Entered the construction site. I repeat, Robocop has entered the site. That wasn't part of the plan. Minor drawback. Cobra assault cannon operatives are getting into position. There's no way past that force. Cobra cannon. Now we're talking. Yes, sir. The best money can buy. Keep going, brave little man. Just a little. Sending our prime unit. Blitz troops should get rid of them once a week. 
I've heard that before. Make sure it turns out to be true. <laughs> That happens sometimes, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. Because this happened, uh, what is it, once Nothing in the present. Will bring back your old life, except me. Yeah, this happened once I'm at the present, the where I, I, I killed everybody but for some Do you really want to throw this chest away? Fuckers, how many how many of you were left? Oh do I have to actually go down here? Okay, I guess I did. Alright. Ooh, wait a minute. Rocket launcher. You never turn down a rocket launcher. Definitely not an accident, Storm. 
attack and enemy turret may be used against you. playing on extreme, so. Oh, damn it, and the rocket launcher disappeared. That, that, that actually pisses me off. Oh, oh, Alex Murphy! Keep going. Too many snipers.
Do I have to slaughter before you finally get the message? Like, goddamn. I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm just asking a question. Do this all in one go. Fuck. Oh, keep going. thing is, why the hell are they still working for him if he hasn't made the payment yet? Yeah, a lot of mercenary places, you know, it's, they, you know, they, they pay, you know, they, you have to pay them in advance.
Coming for you. Is that so? Everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for. Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. <laughs> Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. <laughs> I have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> I love that. No, I'm grateful, Fox. You close the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city. Surrender, or there will be trouble. I love that. No, no, no offense, you know. I still have no beef, Robocop. Just we'll business. Fight, no matter what. So, Robocop, prepare to meet your demise. Oh! Now there is trouble. This isn't over. Stay away. Stay the hell away! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Oh, you man. You will regret throwing this opportunity away! Useless fucking machines! Can't you see? OCP is lying to you! I was the only one who was frank with you from the start! You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. They wanted you emotional to better manipulate. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise. You hunt criminals down. Oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. 
It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. Mm -hmm. Then why don't you die like one? <laughs> just like an 80s movie, just so... <laughs> like he takes like 20 bullets before he finally drops. <laughs> Is it done? Complete no way it out. Is Wendell Antonowski dead? What about the city? Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep, but I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy, good job. <laughs> Check up on everyone. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, because the guy from the Holy Cow joint came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! <laughs> It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days, I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. <laughs> you hope Dr. Blanchard You don't look so hot. Right. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin... I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage line. <laughs> so, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right. No escaping the grave. Ah, Pickles is down here. We've got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. But that did not stop you. You proved competent. Not to pat myself on the back, but I really did. Just... Who knew that selflessly helping others is so exhausting? And rewarding. <laughs> yeah, you may be onto something there. I checked on the folks that called in to make sure they're safe. And they were. Ah, but now, I need to oh, catch up on my beauty sleep. I can't believe I'm the only one here. Don't they know there are mattresses back here? <laughs> they probably mind the vomit stains. <sighs> Beggars can't be choosers. See you around, partner. <laughs> yeah, you hope Pickles change his ways. That's nice. You deserve that. caught me sleeping at the desk. 
It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. Yup, Blue Ulysses become a confident cop. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. <laughs> That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. <laughs> what a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. I realized that blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. <laughs> There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide and I'm sorry somewhere in all this. No, <laughs> I'm glad. Yep, Samantha See you out there, pursuit of the truth. You will. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? <laughs> You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. <laughs> a lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. <laughs> I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. <laughs> oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. <laughs> I'll get my gear. <laughs> You've got to see this. Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos. Most importantly, who is going to stop it? I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. <laughs> oh wow, is this an actual mission? What 
the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. shift. everything in its path. What did? A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. Positive. Sure, there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. Oh, boy, that's a long way down. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It, it, something. I Getting this. All of it. That's the OCP board you're seeing. They were supposed to vote on the new CEO. I guess someone didn't like the candidate they chose. OCP is finished after this. God damn. guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Past your mental exterior and see. 
see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human. As you have. Self is something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be. Good luck, Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison creep. <laughs>
Oh, damn it, really? I gotta do the entire battle over again? That's kind of bullshit, but all right. Murphy, what the hell was that? Okay, I'm just gonna skip over everything. Do you need backup? I repeat, do you need backup? Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. 
the city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. <laughs> now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. <laughs> Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Next up. Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED 209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denied. <laughs> We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. <laughs> A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. <laughs> the record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former <sighs> OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its totally only attendee. attendee. <laughs> the OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. <sighs> Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. <laughs> One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah, it's Robocop! Robo, I love you! To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time. Damn, that was a, that was a good fucking game. Damn. Uh, I loved every aspect of this game. Granted, there were a couple of missions that I was a little annoyed by, by finding the, trying to find that one guy's cat and all that other shit. But other than that, it's a solid fucking, like, just solid, I wouldn't say movie adaptation, but a solid video game based on a movie. Like, Everything about the game has been handled with love and care that the source material deserves, and you can clearly tell that every person that worked on it was understood what, what made those movies such a big deal. The story could have been the whole plot of an entire RoboCop, like, you know, probably would have been better than three, but could have been the plot of a movie itself. Literally just going around and just murking friggin', you know, being a police officer in a, basically a war-torn city was fucking amazing and 
to literally pick up the iconic the the iconic auto nine was oh my god <laughs> like it, it was amazing and as you can see the towards the end i was just spraying praying because i could because it, i literally didn't run out of ammo <laughs> oh man i had so much fun so and all the people that you can help the psychology uh like skill tree is actually pretty cool i i just felt like it didn't play enough of a part in a lot of avenues but i mean maybe it's maybe on another playthrough it'll do it, it'll uh what is it it'll like you know it'll work better i i mean i would say i'd want a sequel but at the same time the game is so good that i'm like i don't know if it could capture that magic again but that's that's honestly all i got for now i just finished robocop rogue city so like i want to thank you all for tuning in if you're watching it is two in the morning so i'm definitely gonna need some sleep because i got work today so but, like I said, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I still got God of War 2018. Uh, me and my friends still got, like, some Helldivers 2 stuff. I got a lot of stuff coming for you guys this year. So, I want, like, you know, you know, stay tuned. Because I will uh, follow the channel. Because you will uh, follow me on follow me on Twitter. But also, or, you know, X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, as well as follow me on Rumble, so you always get notifications when I go live. I got a lot of great projects going for, uh, like, uh, man, I'm sorry, I'm a little sad. I got a lot of great projects coming, so hopefully, hopefully I'll see you then. I'm Evan from Stupid Awesome Game, and I will catch you in the next one. Good night, everybody, or should I say good morning? <laughs>